Hello, I'm Edward from Obsidian Control Systems. Now, when programming in Onyx, you might find that you're regularly using the same set of fixtures over and over again. Uh, and to save you having to manually go in and click on each light you want or type in a long syntax string, we can start to create some groups for ourselves to make our lives easier. So we can start to group some of these fixtures together. Um, so let's say that I'm regularly using all of my spots at once, 101 through 108, and I want to save that as a group. Uh, the first thing I need to do is select those fixtures. So I'm going to go and say 101 through 108, enter. And I'm going to then go and store that as a group. So I'm going to go to my groups window here, which is part of the fixture center. I'm then going to go and tap the record key on my console. Um, if you're not using a physical console, don't forget in your number pad, uh, keypad, you've got the record button just there. Um, but I'm going to go and hit the record button. And I'm then going to go and click an empty group tile in the groups window. And that has recorded my group for me. At this point in time, I can immediately start typing. And I'm going to go and say spots. And notice if I type and then hit enter, that will automatically name the last thing that I just recorded. So that will then rename our group there to spots. Now, what that means now that I've got that group is if I go and tap the clear button to clear my selection, if I go and click on my group, immediately all of those fixtures have selected. It's just a shortcut to that selection of lights. Don't forget, though, groups will also include the order of selection. So this time I'm going to go and say 108 through 101, enter, record, and click group two. And this one I'm going to call spots reversed. So now you'll notice that one of these groups has the fixtures in one direction and the other group has the fixtures in the other direction. And that's really useful for if we're fanning or running effects across fixtures. I can have the same group, but two different orders uh, of selection. I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to tap clear to get rid of the selection. This time I'm going to do an, a, a, a selection of the odd fixtures. So I'm going to go and say 101 and 103 and 105 and 107, enter. and before, of course, I was tapping record and then tapping an empty group. This time, I'm actually going to use the syntax record group three enter. So I'm going to use a little bit of syntax to record that group. And that will now record that group just like before, uh, but in our, uh, in our uh, groups window here. So we were able to do that with syntax. Now, in the example of doing an odds and evens like I just did there, it is worth mentioning that we do have some grouping tools available to us. So I'm going to go and say 101 through enter to select those lights. And at the top, we have our grouping tool. And in the grouping tool, I could actually say that I want to group every other light. So you'll notice there that I can say group of two and very quickly it's given me my odds. Or I could say go and group, do a group of three. And so you'll notice there that you can start to use what we call masks to grab combinations of a selection. Alternatively, I could say blocks of two or blocks of three. So it will do a block of three over the particular selection. Uh, or I could go and divide the selection by two or divide the selection by four. So you can start to use these modes to start to split up the group. I could um, create a mirror selection. Um, so worth mentioning, if you are wanting to do odds and evens, don't forget you have got the grouping tool to be able to help you out there. Equally, if you want to generate a random order, uh, which is particularly useful for creating random effects, you could go and click the random button in here. And each time you click random, that's going to come up with a new random selection order. So if I, if I take the mask off and then just keep clicking random, it's going to keep generating a random order. So you can see there in my, uh, in my selection window that shows me the selection order. Each time I click random, it's going to show me that order there. I could then go and sort it in order. I could reverse it. 
And if I've got a selection that I like, a selection order that I'm happy with, I can then go and record that as a group. So I'm going to record this as group four. So record group four, enter, and I'm going to call it random spots. So select that fixture, select that group, and I'm going to go and type this as random spots. So I can start to create myself lots of individual groups. Uh, and when I've got these groups um, recorded and named, I could then start to color code them if I wanted to. So if I go to my groups option here and then say group color change, I can now start to go and choose and color code my groups. So you might have your own scheme in mind that you'd like to use for this, but you can start to color code your groups there so that you can start to get a little bit of a, a little bit of a visual reference as to which group does what. And you can lay these groups out however you want them. Now, the nice thing about that is as well as being able to use those groups on the touch screen, don't forget if we go and open our visualizer window here, I can now start to use syntax such as group three at 50 enter so rather than typing in the fixture numbers we can actually now select the groups using syntax so i could go and say group three uh, for example if i wanted to make a change to a group that i've already recorded i could edit that group so to do that i'm going to use the syntax edit group three enter and if I go to my programmer window, we can now see here we are. This is group three that we're that we're currently editing. Uh, so we can see these values in here. So I'm going to go and say um, that I want to deselect fixture 103. So minus 103. But actually, I want to add fixture 104 instead. So there we go. So I've now got different fixtures in this group. So now. I can press my update button there and if I go and reselect the group notice it has now saved those changes so now it's not my odds 101 103 105 107 it's now got 104 instead so just to recap on that the way I did that tap edit tap on a group or equally tap edit and type the group number you want you can then make your change selection changes you want and when you're happy, go and hit your update key to save those changes. So that is how we can record groups, name them, color code them and edit them. Lastly, of course, if we want to delete a group, go ahead, tap the delete key on your console, tap a group and then you can press enter to confirm. And there'll then be a pop up to say, are you sure that you want to delete that group or not? And in my case, I'm going to go and say yes.